away from violence brought hundreds together tonight for a first of its kind event in Seattle. Conversation with the streets aims to reach out and empower young people who live in the inner city. AJ Janavel was there to ask organizers why they believe these efforts will lead to real change. What's your business? My business, I, I do transportation, so. He's only 23 years old, and already Kayshawn Adams is a small business owner. But not too long ago, he thought he'd be living a much different life. Five years ago, honestly, I was sitting in jail. Adams says growing up, he did not have a support system from his family, which led to trouble. Wasn't guided in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? Like, just a traumatic lifestyle, you know, neighborhood that I lived in was traumatic. Just so many distractions that you can go down, and I chose at that time the wrong road to go down. As a teenager, Adams says he faced multiple felonies and the very real possibility of his life changing forever. I'll do my time, exactly. That was uh, my mindset. And when I met somebody who fought for me, as hard as I should have fought for myself, it made me change. That person is Dominique Davis. He fought for Adams, and he was able to clear his record. Davis became a mentor, or even more appropriate, family to Adams. And now, Adams is working to do the same thing for young people who may be going through similar experiences. And every person who feels alone, every person who feels like they're not going to be able to achieve something, they're going to have somebody right there just like I did that looked just like me. And that is the purpose of conversation with the streets. Wednesday, hundreds packed into Seattle City Hall to hear from community leaders, many who have faced their own adversity to become successful. Young people, this is our time. The goal of these monthly meetings is to give young people who may be overlooked a support system, a chance at becoming successful themselves, and find someone like Adams found to stand in their corner and fight for them. I'm saying even if it's not at home, there's people out here that love you. Reporting in Seattle, AJ Janavel, Q13 News. Nadia Romero also spoke with the creator of Not This Time about creating this forum. So many people talk about the problem, but they don't want to do nothing. They want to be armchair activists. We're doing something. Andre Taylor says this is the first meeting of many. Not this time is organizing these events monthly. The goal is to have them go through the entire year and eventually take them across the country. All right, time to talk.